Okay, I'm trying to sum up a little bit about this talk about PBR rendering that uh, I'm having in this chat here on Facebook. And um, I made a little scene ready here just to to test to get something clear again. I've made this, uh, it's a normal plane, four balls, and I have this here, which I plan to be the light of the scene. So, of course, I'm going to turn off draft here. I'm going to render panel. I'm going to set some uh, shaders here to get it a little smoother and turn on global illumination. And we are going into the VPR render. So, this is what we have right now. I will then go to the lights and as Andrew has explained, we need to, of course, set the ambient to zero. And I need to, in this case, kill the light fully because I need the plane I had here to be the light source. So I'm going to surface editor and I'm going to get the light plane here and I'm going to boost this up to 100. And just to get this clear, when doing a PBR rendering, is 100 here the max of luminosity, or is it okay to go higher, higher than 100? I just would like to clear that out if that is possible. And of course, here I can set the color of the light, what I would like it to be. Let's try something like that. Okay. I'm then going to take ball number one and enable my nodes and then I understand I need some fresh now and I need it to pop the result into reflection. I need to put the inverse into diffuse and I do this because the value I add into reflection needs to be subtracted from the diffuse and that's what the inverse value is doing. At least that's what I'm understanding. And uh, as you see now, my ball has become nice and reflective. And I would, of course, like to add some color to this. So I'll just add, let's put some red here. And I will drag this into color. That looks pretty neat and I get a nice reflection here from my light plane as well. It looks rather decent. And I could then, of course, go back and take this one, copy from this one and paste this, the notes section, not the rest into the other balls and then I could change the color here to say green or whatnot and so on and so forth. That, that So far so good. I understand that. Um, also I could go to my ground plane here again for snail first. I could have copied that of course I know and if I rise this, that means that the reflection would get higher, but it would also subtract this value from the diffuse, so the surface will become darker, like this. So now comes my next question. Of course, I could now choose, if I rotate around here, my mouse is a little jumpy sometimes, I could choose to uh, to put in a scalar here and then bump that into the blurry reflection. And then I get some nice blurry reflection. As you see here, and I could 
lower or rise this value and get a pretty decent view here. Let's just turn around here for a sec and see how this looks. And I think this looks rather great, but I'm confused now. Uh, is this, if this is a, a PBR setup, would this be the correct way to do re reflection? Or in my brain, I think I, uh, this is wrong, and I need to do some kind of uh, roughness setup, as you explained. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't see anything regarding roughness. Any anything over here. Um, so I might do this wrong if this is to be correct PBR setup or how do I add this roughness thing to get uh, the surface material rough. I would like if anybody could help me with that. Of course also I could have popped in some uh, texture maps uh, for the color here and so on. Also, I could put in some some bump map or some normal map to uh, to shape this, um, but there's still, of course, it's uh, still of course some 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 topics that is not understandable yet to me. But uh, I think it's very exciting and it could be fun to to learn some more about this. Also, of course, if it could end up by making some even better renders. That would be real fun. So uh, I hope this uh, this is understandable, and I hope that somebody gonna give the time to to explain what I'm missing here um, and how I can evolve from this step here. So I'll save the scene and upload this video to YouTube.